Pavansarovar was the personal bathing place of Sri Nanda Maharaj while he resided in Nandagram. Nanda Maharaj, along with Krishna, Balaram, and the Gopas would regularly bathe here. At times, Yashodamai would come and personally bathe little Krishna in the ambrosial waters of Pavan Sarovar. Each day, while returning back to Nandagram after herding the cows, Krishna would stop at Pavan Sarovar and invite each cow to drink and bathe in its waters personally. Sometimes, Srimati Radharani and her friends would be bathing in one particular corner of Pavan Sarovar. And Krishna, who bathed on another side of the sacred pond, would swim under water and secretly take the dust of the feet of Srimati Radharani and the gopis. Krishna, what are you doing? Don't be late. Take your bath. Your meal is ready. Don't let it go cold. There was no cowherd boy who did not play. There was no play without joking, and there was no joking that did not give joy to Krishna. When Sri Radhika heard that Krishna had gone to the barn to milk the cows, she left home on the pretext of taking her evening bath. She came to the garden on the bank of Pavan Sarovara, where she climbed on the wonderful watch tower with her friends. From there, she could drink the ambrosial beams of Murari's moonlight face with her chakra bird-like eyes and she found boundless bliss.
गंगा चुंगी पिशंगी आओ पद्मा हरिणी रंगिनी कंचगंधा रंबा चमरी प्लीज कम कम